guys welcome back to my channel i'm ithia kimbade if this is your first time thanks for tuning in make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you always know every single time i upload a video follow me on social media as well should be somewhere on the screen so i saw this tweet on twitter i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen it basically says like the girl basically tweeted i think i think between the age 21 to 29 is a phase of hustling suffering smiling toiling depression overthinking what do you mean that you achieve your goals and make it in life and you guys that tweet resonated with me so much more than i would like to admit honestly i saw that tweet and it just made me think back to around june or yeah earlier on this year basically even before june you know when my graduation was approaching i i was at a very like weird phase i still there but gradually you know getting better but i was at a very weird phase where i was completely freaking out <laughs> it's so funny now thinking about it but i was completely freaking out because all my life i have always known what was next for me so when i was a child i'd always known that school was next and then summer vacation once that is over you're back to school you're going to the next class like i have always known what was next because i guess the world has already dictated what the first 20 slash 21 years of my life was going to be it was going to be all about school and so now that i was going to graduate i full on had a breakdown because i was like oh my god this is about to be real like this is real life now i don't know what i want to do in life i don't know what i'm passionate about because I, I was like what the hell am i going to do like i don't know what i want right now so and so i actually caught myself being so sad like because i wasn't sure what i wanted out of life i don't want to make a mistake but then i you know like i was just so confused and so i thought about it and i was like when i was a kid I would see all my cousins and all their friends and everybody just looked like they had their shit together excuse my language but everybody just looked like they had their shit together and it just made me think i was like they were probably exactly in my shoes as well they obviously and definitely did not have their shit together they just appeared to have their shit together and so now you know even thinking about it i'm like my friends and everybody around me everybody looks like they have their shit together but no one does. i had to realize for myself that life is not a race you know everybody's journey and everybody's path in life is very different and it's okay for you to not have everything figured out you're just being an adult it's kind of impossible for you to know exactly where you want to be by like when you're just thrown into adulthood so it takes time for you to figure all this out so you know what this life is just one to live and it is my life to live at the end of the day i get to choose what i want to do in life and that should be exciting and that shouldn't scare me and that should make me want to be open to like possibilities and new ideas and so i had, I had to fully change my perspective you know because i was just like fam you know like you can't let things like this get you down you can't let small i wouldn't say small things but yeah you can't let small things like like this be the reason why you're not happy in life and so after that i started having conversations with my friends i would always talk to my friends like always try to see like where their heads were at or like what they were thinking about life or where they like i just wanted to see what people around me were feeling as well i just wanted to know if you know if i was crazy or or not and I realized that everybody is literally going through the same thing but nobody wants to speak and everybody decides to keep all these things in and not like talk about it almost like it's a taboo to, I don't know I just almost felt like it was a taboo to talk about how you were feeling or to adult struggles or adulthood struggles were like things you would not talk about I realized that everyone was basically going through the same thing everyone was basically having like uncertainty of where of what next and where next in life nigerian culture i don't know what it is like i don't know if it's like an african culture for you to for you to not talk about your struggles and for you to not talk about things that are going on in your life or for you, like but i just said to myself like this life is your life to live but god has placed so many people around you 
to help you and to be there for you and to and to listen to you when you need them to listen to you so why have you decided or why do you choose to go through this life alone go through all these things all by yourself when you have a huge support system like and so you know i just decided like i would start talking about my struggles i'll start talking about things that bother me like even though i hate hate talking about my struggles and talking about things that are bothering me for you to rise up from where you are it's okay to ask for help it's okay to talk to people about how you're feeling it's okay because talking makes everything feel just a little bit better you know you never know who you're going to talk to you never know who has the perfect solution for what it is you're going through so bam you have all the friends you need like you have all the friends you need in this world you really do not need anybody else like you don't need anybody else you have everybody you need right there in your corner and so i was like you know what like i'm fine with that i'm fine with just having a few true people in my corner don't have to have the whole world writing for you would be nice like it would be nice to have the whole world writing for you but be realistic that's really not possible so for me you know i i had to surround myself with people that genuinely cared about me and people that were true friends and whoever it was that i felt like was not a true friend snip snip like that's it you're cut off my life i'm not going to call just anybody my friend you know because if you can't be there for me when i need help or if i can't be there for you when you need help then there's no like there's no true friendship there you need to be able to tell who your true friends are true friends will always celebrate you you would always celebrate them like you just know when someone is there for you for you when i tell you guys that this year i yeah like i over would i say yeah i overthought and i thought about like so many things that i i thought about so many things i had no business thinking about so many things i had no business like worrying my lit my pretty little head with but that just had to stop like it just had to like i was at the stage of fear before but now i'm more at the stage of excitement once i realized the key in life is to do what makes you happy i have been so happy ever since that point anything that does not make you happy has no place in your life should not be there yeah so that's how i feel mentally right now but my main point still remains that it's okay to not have life figured out it's like life is a gradual process you figure life out gradually like it's okay to still be trying to figure life out but the most important thing is that you're trying you're doing things that make you happy you're growing yourself you're increasing your knowledge you're trying new things you're not just stuck at the same point and claiming you don't know what you want out of life or life is not working out for you the way you, you want it to the most important thing out of life is constant growth and happiness and that is what you should always desire to find for yourself out of life you know and most importantly comparison is actually truly the thief of joy like people always say so don't compare yourself just be happy just do you yeah so take your time piss yourself gradually you end up finding out what it is that you want out of life and what you want that you're passionate about you guys leave a comment down below if this if you also think this adulting thing is a scam like i do I'm over it. I want to. <laughs> I'm over being an adult, man. Like, over it. But there's no going back from here now, you know? So. So, yes, guys, this is the end of my video. Just definitely leave a comment down below if any of you guys can relate to anything I said in this video. If any of you guys are going through the same thing I'm going through, if any of you guys ever went through any of these things I spoke about because i feel like so many of us young people so many of us young adults go through these things and we just bottle them inside we don't talk to anybody we just feel like we need to like put on this brave face but come on guys like seriously we we need to be there for each other we need to be good friends to our friends we need to be better people to people there's probably someone you know that is struggling in some way in life 
or maybe you are struggling in some way in life i'm just going to say guys it's okay for you to not know what you want out of life it's okay for you to not know your passion it's okay for you to be confused for a while but you have to try to rise up from that but yes guys if you like this video give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and see you guys in my next video bye Shawty got a weird store Get her drinks up and watch her take it low She would rather stay low Whatever she do, you won't ever know I'ma need her real close Pick from the crowd, she the one I'm taking home She the baddest in her postcode The baddest in her postcode